This is by Chase Duncan, released years ago. And a lot of you have asked to see how I learned this move. I'm going to be using the Celebration deck today from USPCC. This is a really neat one from the Signature Edition set. I'm gonna drop the link in the description below. What makes these cards special, not only I'm drawn by the color and the detail, but it's also the ultra thin stock. And this is gonna be important for this move because I saw a lot of spinny elements and that's going to help to have thin crushed stock. Even though we're going ahead with thin crushed stock, the other thing to get started, three quarters of the deck. So I'm not going to attempt this with a full deck. All right, let's give it a shot. I have it loaded on my phone. Let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Chase Duncan, and this is Nimbus. Nimbus is a three-packet cut that looks something like this. As I'm going through this, the one thing I noticed is really split between two moves. One is a one-handed cut, and doing quickly some research on YouTube, it's actually released for free here, and I think Chase calls it Bobo. Um, and it starts like the axis cut that I learned from Dimitri. So it starts with that grip, which I'm very familiar with. So that is a very good start. So how Chase Duncan made this into a cut is essentially he clears this. <laughs> okay, we'll have to go through together how to best clear it. Yeah, not a great start. So yeah, forgive all the bloody fingers, but let's get through it. So, He's in that grip, so same as the axis start. So it takes the thumb and the pinky. So I'm just trying to go through it and then I'll show you what I see from the first point of view. But the clearing is essential and that packet has to be substantially thicker than that one so that it could do that flip. And then you bring in the middle. Oh, here's what I noticed. I'm gonna show you soon. There is a way to clear this easier then you bring things back. So that one-handed cut is really essential. And then I'm seeing a lot of uh, movement with, with this packet and that doesn't seem, and then the interaction between this packet and the thumb. And so the index twirls it and then the thumb twirls it. So nothing too complicated there. I think from that point, the hardest part will be to, to do the get ready from what I'm seeing, because the get ready starts with that spinny packet and then going into that position. There you go. And then, yeah, whoop. So let's, let's attempt this from the other way. Try to follow along with me as I'm attempting this. I'm going to speak through it as much as I can. Once again, the one-handed cut, and he teaches it in detail. I'll link to that video in the description below. Um, I'm in high cradle grip and I'm regripping to have my pinky on the bottom right side and my thumb on the top left side, but from, from the bottom here. So I'm going to get that packet out. The packet on top needs to be uh, bigger in order to, to basically, as you start to move away from that packet, it needs to be able to rotate it like this. All right, so let's try that again. And that get ready is really not a comfortable one. So that's what I'm learning so far. So I'm going from here and I'm getting here, okay? Now, the middle finger afterwards is going to go underneath and you're going to clip it and do this movement. I recommend maybe trying half the deck. I'm at three quarters of the deck and I'm struggling to do the this separation. So I'm here, the gravity makes it fall. I'm curling that middle finger and I'm clearing like this. And then I'm using that same middle finger to push down and then everything clears. See how I'm extending my fingers as much as I can to get clearance. 
All right, here's something that helped me um, so I don't stay here for <laughs> many more hours. Here, here's what I gathered, okay? I was comfortable because I knew access beginning. I was comfortable to pull the cards, but I wasn't so comfortable getting to the point of putting my middle under. So what I'm doing here is I'm really shifting this packet uh, past my thumb and up. That gives me enough clearance. I'm going to show it from another angle. I think this is gonna help a lot of you out there. So I'm going in here. The gravity makes it fall. I bring my middle in there and watch how I shift. This corner will clear because I'm shifting this sort of clockwise and then I get that clearance. All right, let's see, it's getting cold. Mosquitoes are being active. So you're going to start this move by taking out, he's mentioning 10, 15 cards. I'm not going there. I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going under 10 here, okay? I can't spin with my finger size comfortably more than that, I feel. And, and then the bottom one, I'm also going low on that. So approximately this much. Okay, so this is your starting point. You, you sort of need to know how to complete that full one-handed cut, but it does get confusing. So I'm clearing. It does get confusing. Like, how do you complete that? And then spin this packet around. We are here now. I'm gonna do the get ready and get that started. So as soon as this is cleared, this goes here and the thumb starts to push on that top packet to pivot it. I'm going to lower this hand according to what I'm seeing, what he's doing. This is gonna start to rotate that one-handed cut. And then I'm, I'm confused what happens next as I watch this video. This is not an easy move. Okay, give me a second here. What is going on? So I'm here. I go like this, I go down, I open things up, I, I continue rotating downwards. Oh, okay, so I'm coming up here, I'm rotating, pushing that packet, and then what? What do I do after? Okay, whenever you're stuck, you have to start over. This move is, is very difficult, but I feel like we're gonna do this before the sunset. Okay, so we're here. We're going like this, we're going like that. Okay, so now I do this. And now I think I got it. The closure is actually not so bad at all. All right, so I was like this. This is gonna take me months to get smooth that opening. But I'm going to lower the hand as I extend. I'm going to initiate one spin. I'm, I'm using the thumb of the right hand to push this packet, which, and then, and see, now I'm not in the right closing position. Okay, you cannot give up. This is like, once you get the choreography, and then I'm just gonna stick around and like do this a few times and maybe it will look good. Chase Duncan, what are you doing to my fingers here? Okay, extend that. I think that is how we're gonna do this. Yes, I think that looks very close to what he has. So we're going to open up like this, split this as it splits and gravity makes it fall. I'm going to pull the right hand down, continue to spin. Ooh, I think I got it. Look at that mosquito bite. Look at this finger bleeding. All this for you. I hope you're trying this along me. Okay, let's get that angle maybe wider here, wider angle so you can follow along. I'm here, I'm picking up. I am not at 10, 15 cards. I'm maybe right up like this. That's pretty good. And then that get ready, it falls. It goes down, I extend, I use. So one thing that helped me is like how much the two thumbs are interacting together to spin packets. That is what wasn't clear and obvious. And also I didn't have a good 
you know, first point of view angle. So like here, I am coming up to spin that, but then I'm using the left thumb to spin and then I spin it once more and then I spin into the closure. That is how the move wraps. To give you another angle perspective, from here, you're doing that, get ready, you got it. And from here, you let it drop. As it drops, gravity, this comes in first spin, you lower that hand, you extend, then the, the thumbs are doing their thing, spinny, spinny thing. Okay, here's what I suggest. I'm gonna film some practice uh, runs in slow motion Try to follow along. This is the best I can do, I think, for today. I hope this move looks okay. What do you think? How did I do, guys? On a cold night. On a cold night. Tonight. On a cold night. On a cold night. It's a very fun move. I quite, quite like it. Okay, I'm tired. The sun is going away. I will show you the new kind of behind my house area because I'm in Ontario, Canada now. The English side of Canada is so cool. It's probably going to be a really popular filming spot for me. Cool water stream. Uh, I'm going to attempt to film like this. Fun fact, I will be in Amsterdam and then Germany next week, so May 9th, 10, 11. So that should be fun as well.